Welcome to the comprehensive course on microbiology for medical students. In this script, we will delve into various topics related to microbiology, infection control, and hospital epidemiology. Each topic will be discussed in great detail, highlighting the complexities and terminology associated with the field. So, let's get started with our first topic. Healthcare-associated infections, commonly referred to as HIES, are infections that patients acquire while receiving medical treatment in healthcare settings. These infections can occur in various parts of the body, including the bloodstream, respiratory tract, urinary tract, and surgical sites. The risk factors for HIES can be categorized into patient-related factors, such as age, immunosuppression, and underlying diseases, and healthcare-related factors, such as invasive procedures, indwelling medical devices, and contaminated healthcare environments. Preventing HIES is crucial to ensure patient safety and reduce healthcare costs. Several strategies can be employed to prevent HIES, including proper hand hygiene, adherence to strict aseptic techniques during invasive procedures, appropriate use of personal protective equipment, and regular cleaning and disinfection of healthcare facilities. Additionally, antimicrobial stewardship programs play a pivotal role in reducing the occurrence of HIES by promoting the rational use of antibiotics and combating the emergence of antibiotic-resistant organisms. In healthcare settings, outbreaks of infectious diseases can occur, leading to more infections among patients and healthcare workers. Outbreak investigation involves identifying the source, mode of transmission, and implementing control measures to contain the spread. Epidemiological methods, surveillance systems, and collaboration among healthcare professionals are essential in managing outbreaks. Antibiotic resistance occurs when bacteria become resistant to the effects of antibiotics. Overuse and misuse of antibiotics contribute to this problem. Antimicrobial stewardship aims to optimize antibiotic use through education, restrictions, and targeted testing. Collaboration among healthcare professionals is crucial in combating antibiotic resistance. Sterilization and disinfection are important practices in healthcare settings to prevent infections. Sterilization eliminates all microorganisms, while disinfection reduces their numbers. Different techniques such as steam sterilization and chemical agents are used, but careful selection and proper application are crucial to ensure safety. Healthcare facilities should have protocols, monitoring, and training in place. In summary, environmental cleaning protocols in infection control and hospital epidemiology involve maintaining a clean healthcare environment through proper cleaning techniques, selection of appropriate cleaning agents, and identification of high touch surfaces that require frequent disinfection. These protocols aim to prevent the spread of infections and should be based on evidence-based practices and tailored to the specific needs of healthcare facilities. In the section on infection control in intensive care units, ICUs, we will explore the unique challenges faced in these units and the strategies used to prevent healthcare-associated infections. We will discuss topics such as ventilator-associated pneumonia, catheter-related bloodstream infections, and bundle approaches for infection prevention. This information will help you understand the importance of infection control in ICUs and how it improves patient outcomes. Hand hygiene is crucial in preventing infections in healthcare settings. Methods include hand washing with soap and water, or using alcohol-based hand rubs. Compliance can be improved through education, monitoring, leadership involvement, and hand hygiene ambassadors. To summarize, preventing surgical site infections SSIs, involves various measures before, during, and after surgery. These include screening, patient optimization, adhering to guidelines, maintaining a sterile environment, proper hand hygiene, antibiotic prophylaxis, aseptic wound management, surveillance, and collaboration among healthcare professionals. Managing multidrug resistant organisms, MDROs, like MRSA and VRE requires a comprehensive approach including diagnostics, treatment options, and infection control measures. Adherence to precautions and surveillance programs are key in combating MDROs and minimizing their spread. Immunocompromised patients, such as those undergoing immunosuppressive therapy or with HIV infection, are at increased risk of infections. Preventing infections involves vaccinations, prophylactic antimicrobials, isolation precautions, and prompt management of infections. Vaccination is a cornerstone of preventive medicine, particularly in healthcare settings where healthcare workers, patients, and visitors may be exposed to infectious diseases. Vaccines play a crucial role in reducing the incidence of vaccine-preventable diseases, protecting vulnerable populations, and preventing outbreaks. Healthcare workers should be up to date with their immunizations to ensure their own health and prevent transmission of infections to patients. Vaccines recommended for healthcare workers include those against influenza, hepatitis B, measles, mumps, rubella, varicella, and pertussis, among others.
Vaccination strategies in healthcare settings should include comprehensive education and awareness campaigns targeting both healthcare workers and patients. Healthcare facilities should implement systems to track and monitor vaccine status among healthcare workers and regularly conduct vaccine coverage assessments. Strategies to improve vaccination rates involve providing convenient access to vaccines, addressing barriers and misconceptions, engaging healthcare workers in the decision making process, and ensuring vaccine safety and efficacy through post marketing surveillance. Overall, it is essential to prioritize the protection of healthcare workers from occupational exposures to infectious diseases through the use of personal protective equipment, adherence to sharp safety practices, provision of safe medical devices, and the implementation of comprehensive occupational health programs. Overall, this video covers a wide range of topics in microbiology and infection control. By implementing the knowledge gained from this video, healthcare professionals can contribute to preventing infections and ensuring patient safety.